As I mentioned earlier, this uh, feature will detect version mismatches, and how that's going to come about is on R1 here, what we've done is we've gone ahead and we've upgraded the iOS code. Uh, prior to this, it was running 12.4 uh, code, and we upgraded it to 15, version 15. So now when I do a show secure boot set, and the iOS configuration was um, saved out via the uh, secure boot config while the version was 12.4. We've since, again, uh, upgraded the code to version 15. So we can see that it does have a version stamp here, and everything else is the same until we get down to this bit right here at the end. Uh, it says configuration archive ready for upgrade. And I put a note down here. I said I tried this with different versions of 12.14, I'm sorry, 12.4 code, and nothing happened. You need to change by a whole version. Uh, in Cisco iOS, that's going to be, you know, your 12 will change to, you know, now 15 since Cisco and their infinite wisdom has skip 13 and 14. Interesting side note on that, I guess that the reason why they did that was because 13 is considered unlucky in Western cultures, and I believe 14 is considered unlucky, and I'm probably messing this up, and I'm sorry, but I, I, I heard that it, 14 is an unlucky number in um, Arabic, I believe. I'd have to check that to be sure, but anywho, that's why they went to 15, supposedly. And what this is keen on is, if you do a show running config, one of the first um, lines of configuration that you'll see is the version of the iOS that was used when the, um, the well, that's in use for the configuration. So let's pull this up. So if we do a show run, we should see a version on here. And you can see here it's version 12.4. So if we show over, include iOS, the current version that we're using is 12.4. So the running configuration will be stamped with the, the version, and that's what it's looking for here when it's looking for a version mismatch. So if you're, you know, if you upgraded from 12.4.12 to 12.4.15, for instance, it, it won't trigger this. It'll still see that stamp as version 12.4. So just keep that in mind. So when upgrading the um, secure boot configuration when there's been a version mismatch, you actually save a step here. Uh, recall that when we were doing the upgrade that you would have to issue the no secure boot configuration, configure your new commands, and then issue the secure boot config again to uh, upgrade that secure boot configuration. In this case, well, we're not going to do any commands, new commands, but in this case we've upgraded the uh, iOS from 12.4 to 12.15, which has triggered the version mismatch. So in order to update this, all we really need to do is um, issue the secure boot config. And uh, you can see I was a little bit doubtful about that when I was creating this slide. But that's how it works. Uh, here we are on R1, and the uh, current version of iOS is 15.0. So I just go in and issue the secure boot config. And you can see here that we get a config update, config archive updated. And if you recall, the last time when we did the upgrade, we had to issue the no secure blah blah blah, but it was it went inactive and then active, whereas this time we're getting an update message. And the other cool feature about this is this is one of the rare things that you can do when you're connected via VTY. So you could be telnetted in, see the um, the version mismatch, go into your config and issue this, and it will update uh, this secure boot config. If you recall from the other upgrade, we did have to be connected via the console port. So now to verify that this has been updated, we just do a show secure boot set, and we can see now that the uh, version 15 has been um, is the new version. So that concludes the theory portion for secure boot config. We're halfway through the uh, Cisco iOS resilience configuration. The next command that we're going to take a look at is pretty similar. Um, it's the secure boot image command. Okay, on to the second of our two Cisco iOS resilient configuration commands. This command is secure boot image and I think you can guess where we're going just by the uh, command name. This command enables or disables the securing of the running Cisco iOS image. There are two possible scenarios with this command. And the first scenario is just turn it on for the first time. When you do that, it's going to take the running image, and it says here the as displayed in the show version command output. It's going to secure it, and then it's going to create a syslog, syslog message. Once again, you have to have ATA disk, like a flash card, and you can't have images that are being booted from a TFTP server, for instance. They have to be locally stored images. And if you read along with me, it says, because this command has the effect of hiding the running image, the image file will not be included in any directory listing of the disk. And that's just this um, 
feature doing its job. It's securing it, but it also removes it from the directory. So if you do a show flash, your running uh, iOS image will not show up, which can lead to some confusion, especially if you've got an engineer that doesn't realize that this uh, feature is running and just thinks that the, the running iOS image has been blown away. So keep that one in mind. We'll, we'll touch on that a little bit more later. And then to disable this, you just issue the no secure boot image. And again, I've harped on this this whole lesson. You need to be connected via the console to do this. Just keep that in mind um, when you're implementing this feature. Okay, and the, and the second of these scenarios is simply the version mismatch that we just went over with the secure boot uh, config. Very similar. So if your um, secure boot set includes an iOS image that's say 12.3 and your running iOS image is uh, version 15.0, you're going to get a uh, version mismatch message and uh, it's similar to what we just went over with uh, like I said the secure boot config the example that Cisco has gives you it looks like you get the combo platter here this is archived image and configuration version 12.2 differs from running version 12.3 so in that case um, you've got both the config and the image um, differing by a code version and that makes sense so we'll, we'll take a look at this and we'll actually um, see the mismatch and also show you how to upgrade the secured image